Okay, the date is Thursday, March the 19th. This is uh, workshop number two, exploring and developing a role, component two. Okay, Mary, we get started. So, can you share a fact and a lie, and we'll try to identify which one's which.
say maybe within walking distance, or he lives a long way away. You think he lives close to school? Okay, which is the truth, George? Fine, okay, all right, so, got it right, Thomas, thanks. Maddie, yours? I have five dogs, and I have seven siblings. Right, Neil, what do you think the truth is? Right, okay. Right, 
Okay, uh, Ben, we still need to do you. Can you think of one? I can give you a category like I did for George. How about like something like favorite color? Tell the truth about your favorite color and tell the lie about your favorite color. Okay. Cody, what do you think? So we're asking who the character is, 
where are they? And remember, hot seating, you answer in roll. So you're answering as your character. What obstacles are you facing in this play? What do you want most in life? What would you do to get it? Okay. So you can begin asking your first character those questions. And once you've gone through the questions, then swap over until everybody has a chance to do it. Okay, off you go.
what was what the case in this place? Um, did you get what you call And then my question would be, well, why? Why do you want to be more powerful than the teachers? Why do you seem to hate everybody so much? And then they, perhaps we could find out a bit more about what Neil is thinking of for the reasons that are driving his character, OK? All right, so what did you discover through hot seating, Hannah, when you were asking? You could just choose a character. But I wanted to start with you because you asked such excellent questions. Oh, this is done to very happy in her moment. Okay, all right. And did she say anything about why she's not happy? Because she has to work. Okay, and she's and she's the one, she's the only one who is working, right? Okay, all right, and that can put a lot of pressure on things. So, then the question becomes for Mrs. Dumpton, how would you begin to add this into your component to performance? Think of that scene between Leslie and yourself and Terry, and 
and you're running late for work, you're, you've been late several times before, Terry's coming home later and later from school, you're trying to wait for him before you go to work, you're feeling more and more pressurized, you're worried about him, what if you get fired, nobody will be in work then. You know, it's, it's something to think about how that would add to the interpretation of your character, okay? So how do you think you might handle something like that? in that scene between you and Terry and Leslie when he comes home and he's acting so weirdly, but you know you've got to get to work and, it's, and all of it's making you late. Oh, I feel a lot of frustration. Like, I'm so frustrated about my real life in a place and just show that it's just not going to work. Like, I'm not going to be able to work in this place. I'm just so frustrated as well. Yeah, okay. And it's not only frustrated, I mean, it's, it feels like it's pressure from a lot of different, your character's coping with a lot, really, a lot. Okay, so, um, Harry, who did, what did you find out about, um, was there anything when they were hot seeing your character, because you played Terry Dumpton, was there anything that you found out about yourself that you want to incorporate in your performance? Yes, yeah, so like all the questions that I was asked in a performance, like how do you realize, like, saying that, when I was that in the field, I was a little nervous and scared, because that could be my character was just in the script that I was like, said that. Yeah, so that kind of fear, but he's not very fearful at home. What emotions do you think you're showing mainly at home, thinking about when you're smashing your models because Leslie wants to play with them? Um, I think he's furious and angry because everything that's happening in school in there how we can work. Exactly. You know, he can't do that at school, but he's so furious about the way that he's being treated for really no reason at all other than he's new. Okay? All right, so that's just some examples of how questions can develop characters and how answers can help us think, ooh, I'd like to put that in this scene. All right, so let's kind of see where we go with this, okay? All right, now, now that we've made some decisions about the interpretation of your role and you've been asked some questions and you're thinking about it, we're going to apply these decisions in independent rehearsal, okay? So, those characters who are in scene two, and that's all the members of the gag, that's Stubbs, Jimmy, Pete, uh, Sammy, um, is it, it's Kathy and Kay, uh, Janet, I think is there, Tracy, okay? If you're in scene two, can you move over to this side? Now, actually, everybody should have a script, shouldn't they, because you have that to do your homework. So can you get your script out, please? Okay. Now, everybody else who's not in scene two, can you come around here? And I'm going to give you kind of, and yeah, because you're not in scene two, you're dead already, I'm afraid. So we're going to have a look at, we're going to have a look at the scene. Okay. So you guys, what well, I'd like you to do is, okay. just we've got Leslie too. So, who's playing the police officer? Okay, you're the police officer. And who's Mr. Dumpton? Right, okay. Oh, sorry, all right. Yeah, Thomas, Mr. Dumpton. Okay, right. So, that's you. Okay, hiya. All right, so, what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to start with scene three. Okay, so that's the police officer interviewing Mrs. Dumpton. You've got your script here. Yeah. All right, you want to grab, you want to grab a copy over there then, yeah? Okay, 